Hello friends, Drives is here with another video. This time I'm gonna talk about another tier 4 skill called Brewing. It's a really kinda useless skill to be honest. It's The only useful thing about it is uh, you can use alcohol in few tier 5 recipes for cooking and you need alcohol to level your alchemy. That's it. Well, you also would need uh, your alcohol to make some potions later in the alchemy, but that's also that's it. There isn't any other ways to use it right now in the game. I hope it will be more useful later, but <clears throat> I digress. Let's talk about brewing. So, first of all, how do you level this skill? The best way to level this skill is actually by recrafting your apples, by making them into fermented apple juice, I think. For that you need wine press. Here you see it in front of me. So you right-click on it and you you choose this crash fruits option. As you can see, you can make apple juice and fermented grapes. Uh, I'm I said that apple juice is better because uh, they are much easier to acquire. If you have a an apple garden garden <coughs> somewhere around, you will be able to easily get a thousands of apples, and you will need a lot because it doesn't give much, and you need to. to well, I think I, I actually used like. 15,000 apples to level my Bruin until 90. So let me show you how much skill level, this is my food quality, you get for borrow sections. Almost nothing, and then with grapes, they should be, they are pretty much the same, see? So you can also use grapes, obviously, yeah, but you will have to plant a lot. And apple, if you have an apple trees, you just can gather them every 10 hours or so it's much easier compared to grapes even though you need two times more so this is it for leveling your brewing this is the best way to go this is what you need to do next is actually making alcohol for that you need brewing tank as you can see like this one you choose brew and then you put it inside I already did it <clears throat> each type of alcohol we can only make four we can make beer cider mead and wine in this one i'm making wine and beer for beer you need level 90 for wine you need level 30. and as you can see i put charcoal to actually heat it up and malt and fermented grapes to make malt uh, you need uh, level 60 of cooking over here this is malt and also brewed honey over here which you need for mead you can make this only in the kitchen it's impossible to make in oven or uh, cauldron, big cauldron, only in the kitchen, keep this in mind. So then you need to heat up your brewing tank up to 18 degrees. I think it's somewhere between 15 to 18 and this, this temperature works for both wine and malt. After you heat them up, it takes forever guys, keep this in mind, it took me like, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes to heat up this uh, fermented grapes. Then you press extract. And as you can see, you can make wine and beer. To make or any of it, you need to have empty bottles inside your inventory. And to make beer, you also need water. So let me make some wine first and show how much skill level you get for it. As you can see, the same amount you get when you create fermented uh, juice. And next, let's make some beer, shall we? Beer will require water, keep this in mind, and as you can see, one water is down and I get the same amount of experience. Here we go, we have some beer. Now, next, uh, let's go to the next brewer tank, where I'm making cider and mead. As you can see, they require different temperature. It's somewhere between uh, 22 to 27, well, 20 to 27, I prefer 25. Or maybe it's closer to 26, and it works just fine for both of this. Uh, actually, brewed honey takes like 10 to 15 minutes to heat up, and apple juice is the same as wine. It takes like 30 minutes at least. It's so freaking long. And after you heat them up, after th this is done, you choose extract, and you can make cider and mead. Of course, again, you need empty bottles, and for mead, you need water. So let me make some. <clears throat> Same amount of experience for cider, 
and now mid, it will be the same too. Hooray! So as you can see, I made every single type of alcohol right now. Now what you need to know, know is how to make empty bottles, because, well, obviously they're really important. And this video, I will show you how to do it too. First you need a kiln, uh, then you need some charcoals and sand. Keep in mind that one glass equals two sand, so you need a number that can be easily divided by two, which is 190. Is uh, Then you turn on your kiln and you heat it up to 1000 degrees, like so, and then you wait until your sand is hot enough so you can pull out glass. Let us wait. And after a few minutes, I think 5 to 10, you, as you can see, your sand is hot enough to get it out. Then you pull, choose this pull out option, and you can either pull out one glass or a lot of glass. Okay, now we have our glasses. Now, to make uh, bottles, all you need to do is put this glass back in the kiln, heat up your kiln to 1000 degrees once again, and wait for it to finish. You need exactly two glass to make one bottle, so it's the same thing as with sand. You need to have an exact amount of glass that can be divided by two, which is I have right now. They should yield me 47 bottles. Let us wait for them to heat up. And here we go. As you can see, it's hot enough to make some bottles. For that, you will need this uh, tool over here, glass blower toolkit. Uh, when you equip it, it looks like a freaking stick. And then you have an option over here, glass blowing. You can also see this option over here, glass blowing right now. And as you can see, I can pull out empty bottle of alchemical glassware. So that's how you make it, bottles. Uh, that's all you need to know about brewing, guys. Uh, to end this video, let me get drunk, I guess. Let's drink some mead. Oh. I'm actually, is it, can I? Oh my god, look at how drunk I am. Can I drink more? Let's drink some beer. I'm fucked. I'm fucked up. <laughs> you get this debuff when you're drunk, as you can see, magnitude 3. And that's all you get. It, it, it doesn't do much. You just get drunk, and you, I'm, not, I'm not sure where to go. <laughs> what to do. Oh, fuck. So. That's it guys, thanks for watching me, this is, was my guide about brewing, and I explained all I know about it. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is when you drink, as you can see, you get your empty bottle back. Uh, the same happens with alchemy, with alchemy, so keep this in mind, you probably may, if you want to level your skill for some reason with brewing actual alcohol, you can drink it and get your bottles back and then brew again. But that's not a really effective way to go, the best way to go is making fermented juice, apples or grapes, depending on what you have in stock. And obviously if you have apple gardens, then it's apples. That's it, thanks for watching, see you later, until next time.